Hey, good morning guys. Welcome back to the channel. This is Jared at Three Cs Recreation. This morning we are gonna give you a really quick video on the low fuel light on your four stroke beta motorcycle. This is a 2020 model and it works from 2020 and newer, this exact setup. So a lot of customers will take a brand new bike home and right away they're like, hey, my low fuel light is already on and I've only ridden it for an hour. And so just so you guys can get a visual when this is outside of the tank, this low fuel light has, um, it's bolted into the bottom of the tank right here. And this is where that sits essentially inside the tank. So if you kind of look straight in here, you'll see that just below half a tank is when you're gonna start to trigger this low fuel light. So when that drops down, that's what's turning the light on on your dash. So a lot of us, when we're racing, this was my 2020 race bike that we're putting back to stock. This bike, um, I eliminated that. Beta has a really cool option on their website. It's only like $24.99 and we can help you with that. So if you want beta parts, give us a call. We offer discounts. If I flip my gas tank over, so to take my gas tank off, we had the dual ignition map that we unplugged here. We had the two lower shroud bolts on either side of the bike. And then we had, um, in the back, we had our actual fuel hose. And then this is the power for the fuel pump. At this time, I didn't have the low fuel sensor plugged in. So there would have been two electrical plugs. I'm sorry, three. Uh, this um, dual ignition map, low fuel, fuel pump pressure, and then the actual line. So easy to take the gas tank off. Only a couple of connectors, takes like a minute. If I flip it over, you can see this is that $24 billet anodized piece that we are taking back off of this bike. So the customer, whoever buys it, can have a uh, low fuel light. So it's easy to do, just an eight millimeter. We're gonna spin it off. And you'll wanna make sure there's gonna be an O-ring in the bottom of this when I pop these bolts out. And you're, maybe you're going in reverse order. Maybe you already have the low fuel light and you wanna switch it to have this uh, option. So you're gonna save these two bolts and there's that little O-ring in the bottom of this anodized piece. You'll see that's gotta go on the inside. That's what holds that O-ring still. So that's our um, oil, low oil or low fuel light delete. And then this is our, we're gonna reinstall this. And what I'm gonna do is like, I like to put a little bit of grease on this O-ring. It just kind of helps it out a little bit. So we'll grab some grease out of our tub here. Doesn't need to be a lot. We don't wanna get it all over the the shaft of the sensor there. So maybe I'll put it down here even. That way we're not dragging it all the way down through. I always think it's a good idea. I think grease uh, prolongs the life of O-rings for sure. So I like to lube it up pretty good. We'll stick it on. And we'll kind of spin it around in the grease, get it all lubed up good. And then this really only goes in one way. We have to position this so when it's in the tank, it's going uphill, so it's gotta go up this way. So we're just gonna stick it right in. And sometimes these little floats are really, really close to the size of the diameter of the hole. So just be careful with it, just kinda work it in. It does go in. And then from here, we're just gonna reinstall the two bolts that we took out. So I will go ahead and finish this up here in a second. But I just wanted to give you guys a really quick video, or if, if your low fuel light is on and you have a full tank of gas, maybe you just need a new one of these sensors, and we can also help you with that. So if you need beta parts, I am Jared from 3Cs.